another unboxing video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just click on the subscribe button about at the bottom right corner of your screen. If you see that uh, small uh, cartoon icon of myself in the box, just click on that and uh, you'll be able to subscribe to my channel. So anyway, today's review will be about this awesome new figure in front of me, which is the brand new SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Fighters Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2022. Uh, Android 21 lab coat version. So this is a version of uh, Android 21 as she appears in the game uh, wearing her lab coat and then she transforms into shows her real form later on as you uh, fight her in the uh, as the final boss in the game of uh, Dra Dragon Ball Fighters. So I haven't played the game in a long time. I know there's so many new characters and I haven't even used her as this uh, version of uh, Android 21. You know, because, uh, you know, I, I haven't played the game since such a long time. But uh, it's a great game and uh, this is, uh, I just can't wait to check this figure out. So Android 21 uh, Lab Coat version is actually a premium Bandai exclusive. She was released at the Bandai Namco store uh, back in February as a pre-order during the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2022 event. And last year, uh, the figure that was released was the SH Regards uh, Goku clone, also from Dragon Ball Fighter. So, looks like they're releasing uh, the SH Regards Dragon Fire Dragon Ball Fighters line during the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. You know, so who knows what we'll see next year? <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm really excited to check, uh, find out what's to be the next figure. So I mentioned earlier, she was a premium Banda exclusive. That's why she comes with the shipper box right here. As you can see here, just your typical shipper box with your uh, with the text right there, Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball, Game, Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour 2022. So there you go. Nothing too special about that. And of course, she comes in your typical SH figures packaging, but they're going with the black. So far, what I've noticed is that they, they're always going with the black uh, box. Um, color for the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour exclusives. So you have your text there, Android 21 in uh, white print. And of course it comes, she comes in this window packaging. You can really see the figure there, pretty nice. And then you have your Tamashii Nation stick, quality sticker there. And now of course there's the image of the figure. So, and of course Dragon Ball Fighter, Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. So here on the side, more images of the figure in the back. You can see there all the different, uh, she comes with all different accessories that you can pose her in so many different ways, you know. So it's that. And here on the side, more text. In the top, there's the, image the figure at the bottom right here. So Android 21 Black Goat. All right, so let's go ahead and open this box up. Usually open here on the right, like always. <laughs> so here you go, Android Twenty One. Let's check back. Let's see. You have your flyer here, as it's for Premium Banda USA. You can uh, put put your orders in through there if they have any new releases. And of course, uh, they got check out this blue background right here. Uh, then it comes with your instruction sheets. So, nice. All right, so let's check out the multiple parts and accessories that came with Android 21. As you can see here, it comes with four extra face sculpts right there. Pretty nice. You know, I'm not seeing any paint issues on mine. Those look really nice. And then uh, she comes with uh, five extra pairs of hands. So it's awesome too. And uh, she comes with the cross arms. So check that out. So, top. so that's nice. And then she comes with this FX piece. Forgot what her ability was, but um, yeah, it looks like a, it's a nice looking FX piece. I don't know how to put it on. We'll see later, but there's a hole there as you can see. All right, now it's time to check out the figure and uh, let's take this big plastic piece out of the back. I think it's just for to protect from the lab coat for touching the legs right there. And then you have your plastic pieces right here. So, uh, just to prevent uh, the paint from also sticking. So there you go, man. 
Android 21 lab coat version comes with these uh, glasses too. I think they're removable. We'll see later. And uh, man, she has big hair. <laughs> so a lot of hair. <laughs> so check that out. And uh, very nice color on her uh, on her dress right there. Uh, blue and red, as you can see. Hopefully you can see it better. So there you go. Then I really like this lab coat, but it's all you can move this around so there you go so it doesn't get away so and it's very soft the skirt part here is very soft so she you can pull off some uh cool poses there so it doesn't hinder it oh there's more plastic here in the back <laughs> all right take that out right. so, and uh yeah check out the like uh not black but almost like uh charcoal gray tights or pants same thing with her you know, long sleeve, long sleeves right here. So then uh, check out the boots, or the shoes. Nice gold paint on the on the tips right there, and blue and red. And it's almost like a blue green color. So nice in the bottom. And uh, check out the back. Nice color on the hair. This side too. Nice. This figure looks nice. All right, so now let's check out the articulation of this figure. As you can see there, you can move the head uh, and the neck area too. You can move that and uh, you can rotate it. She can even look up or down. I think she can look down and yeah, a little bit up. So not fully, uh, but uh, the hair also can move. So. Can see there not much can't rotate it but yeah when you're doing some cool poses you can move that around and of course her arms so you have like a bicep uh, swivel right here you can move that around and it can rotate her arms of course is this are like a small butterfly joint right there so cool and then and of course, I forgot to mention the red ribbon logo right there on the arm. That's pretty cool. So, and uh, can bend her elbows. It's pretty cool. Nice. And of course, her wrists. Can, uh, it's also on the on a ball peg, so you can move that around, rotate it. And then, as like I showed earlier, these the skirt you can like. This is soft, so you can like really move her legs around. So I don't think she can do the full splits. Nope. And no, nope. not much either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there and her knees. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And her ankles. So, so you can move that too nice and of course and she has toe joints oh there you go so you can move that too nice and of course her lab coat yeah these parts uh, the bottom parts of the lab coat you can um, lift these up you know and pull up some cool poses so I don't know if you can remove it. Uh, you might be able to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> so, so that is it. Okay, so now if you guys want to replace her face, you can just pop this off. There you go, and then remove the face. Let's put that on the side. And then as you can see here in the glasses, you can actually remove these and slide it out. Just be careful of it because it's very fragile and you don't want to be breaking these glasses. So there you go. I got them all. So check check this out. Yeah, those are nice looking <laughs> glasses. Okay, so now let's get a face plate. Let's uh, get this smiling one and then let's put the glasses on. So just be careful because it might take some effort to
put these glasses on and just be careful how you handle them because they will break easily so i'm trying to be extra careful right now too <laughs> to put the glasses on so there you go i have that part as you can see uh, these have like small crevices right between the ears so the glasses will stay in place so all right so there you go i have the glasses on so and then i attach it to her head and let's put the hair piece back on and there you go change her face okay so now if you want to replace her hand just pop this off just make sure you get a good hold of the her arm and the and the hand and there you go uh, that took a little bit of an effort so uh, just be careful moving the hands and it won't break and let's use this hand right here I'll show you this one yeah let's use this special hand right here and as you can see there it's in the bowl bag so just be careful with that and insert your hand there it's gonna be there you go so and there is it there it is all right now let's uh, attach these uh, crossed arms right here uh, all you have to do is just pop this off be careful these will come off there you go and uh, this one to the right arm there you go let's pop those off and make sure they're positioned properly and then let's put these crossed arms in oops so either way just do one at a time there you go Oop. so i finally got the cross arms on uh, android 21 as you can see there just make sure when you're trying to put in the the arms uh, you insert it properly and all the way into the pegs so it's not going to come off easily as you can see here um, it kind of took me a while to um, just put the put these arms on because it can be tricky with the with the shoulders right here uh, kind of like blocking the you know uh, the pegs in a way but uh, i was able to uh, yeah, insert it properly there you go all right so uh these hands are actually used to hold her glasses so as you can see here um i just inserted the glasses there so she can hold it properly so check that out so that's pretty cool okay so now if you want to use this effects piece right here for her abilities you guys you can just insert it on this hand right here make sure you got one where she's pointing and uh just uh there's that hole there you can see and this is just insert the finger right there so there you go that's it and that's how she uses her effects piece all right, so let's do a quick comparison between the Android 21 lab code and uh, the Android 21 in her true form. As you can see here, they're two very different figures. <laughs> Just check that out. So um, I think the only things that are slightly similar, I, I think, is the hair. Um, but I don't think it's the same mold either. So almost similar, like, but very different. So as you can see there, just the... Two different hair sculpts. Um, I think they're so similar to the the boots are also different. So or shoes. So but uh, that's uh, height wise. I think they're the same. We'll do a comparison later. But I think that's pretty much it. All right. So let's do some height comparisons with the other figures in the Dragon Ball Z SH figures line. So here on the left side, we have the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour Twenty Twenty One exclusive. The Super Saiyan Son Goku clone, and uh, as you can see, that's how she uh, scales to that. And we have on the right, I showed you to you guys earlier. We have Android Twenty One in her uh, final form. They're pretty much the same height, so uh, not much of a difference there. So uh, that's how she compares to these two figures. Okay, so now we have her uh, standing next to uh, Krillin, Earth's strongest man. And uh, on the right, we have uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Piccolo on the right. And that's how she compares to these two figures. 
All right, next up, we have him standing next to superhero Goku on the left and uh, superhero Vegeta on the right. All right, next up, we have her standing next to some uh, taller figures in the SH Figures Dragon Ball Z line. We have uh, Cell First Form on the left, uh, released uh, a few months ago. And then we have uh, a, a Final Form Cooler on the right. So that's how she compares to these two figures. So overall, man, uh, Android 21 Lab Code version is a very solid figure, to be honest. And uh, I'm glad they were able to include uh, a lot of uh, accessories and parts with her. So as you can see here, you have her, she has her uh, pink FX piece right there for her ability. You know, just a nice addition to that. And also, you can remove the glasses and put it in multiple face plates, which is pretty cool, I think, you know. So um, also, uh, you know, they, she also has the crossed arms. So... Uh, which is pretty a uh, nice uh, addition to her too. Give her, you can put, put her in like that uh, very cool pose. And uh, I really like the, you know, the overall look of the character, just the, the, the dress, the blue and the red, you know, just uh, she looks like she just came straight out of the video game. <laughs> and uh, check her out really quick, turn around. As you can see here, I put the lab coat uh, tail up too for, you know, um, to add some, Kind of like give her a cool effects you know so you can move that around any way you want you can pose that so definitely um you know uh, something that you can do with this figure you know and uh especially the, the dress is not really getting in the way of you posing her which is a uh, which is pretty nice and uh um negative wise i don't really i can't really say anything negative about this figure i don't know Maybe I'm just uh, biased, but, um, you know, uh, what else can I, can you add or what is she missing? You know, except for the fact that we don't really need this figure, but they created it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, props to Tomashi Nations for that. But, uh, definitely something to add to your, uh, SH figure as Dragon Ball Z collection. And that wraps up my review of the brand new SH figure as Dragon Ball Fighters Android 21 lab coat version. As you can see here is the figure. Hopefully it's in focus, but, uh. Just a very nice looking figure, uh, a lot of uh, very good articulation, very nice look overall as you can see there. And uh, see here you have the lab coat, uh, back of the lab coat up, you can like move this around. Same thing with the hair, you can just move that hair around, you know, so pull up so many cool poses. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't you don't have much to negative, a lot of negative things to say about this figure. But uh, anyway, uh, if you really want this to, uh, to purchase a figure right now, unfortunately, uh, it's already sold out at the Bandai Namco store unless you pre-ordered the item. And uh, I just checked recently and uh, it's, it says waiting list. So, and uh, also on the other sites that I, I, I usually buy my figures from, um, she is currently sold out. But if I do find any, I will be posting it in the in the in the description i'll post some links over there where you can purchase the figure and uh yeah definitely a must add to your dragon ball z sh figure arts uh, collection uh last time i checked the price uh on ebay right now is going for like 80 to 90 dollars but you have to purchase from uh from either taiwan or japan so definitely coming from the from uh from asia so, uh, you know, if you want to go that route, that's fine also. I mean, she's not going for a lot right now. Uh, 80 to 90, and a little bit of bump from the regular price, but, you know, that's still under $100. So, something to think about. And, uh, you know, if you really want to complete your SH figure, it's, uh, you know, uh, collection, I highly suggest you guys pick this figure up. You know, it's really worth it. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really appreciate the support. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya.